fresh and clean, fresh and clean. Mm-hmm. Fresh and clean. Yeah, people, welcome back to the fix. It's your boy Nora here with Ari, and we have a most talented guest with us in the building. But before we get to that, this video is brought to you by Red Bull Culture Clash. Coming to Jamaica, November 2nd, National Arena. Not November 3rd, like this clown <laughs> once said. November 2nd, National Arena. This year, 2019, four stages, four crews, one winner. Be there. You know who else will be or there? Or B-square. Sad. The fix will be there, providing media coverage and all these things. We look forward to you joining us there. Also, this video is also brought to you by, that's two also's, Shark Cup Barbers located at Nine Branch of Square. Steve, big up your damn self. Yes, all right. Everything that goes wrong with these inches, I blame on it. And also, is, I like to big up my hair sponsor. There we go. Lothian's Boutique, follow them. And you can use extra 20 to get 20% off on your next purchase. You're welcome. I see if me and Steve can work out like a promo code thing. Nah, <laughs> nah. Nah, nah, fam. You get um, $100 for the next lineup or something. Nah, fam. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Steve, we're going to All right, as I was saying, let's get to our guests. Our most talented guests. I thought you'd have she to must. say fresh and clean guests. I don't know. All right, fresh and clean. <laughs> yeah. right. I didn't want to truly give it away. What oh, okay. right, fresh and clean and all mm-hmm. these things. Talented. Bus on the scene, doing our thing. Jazz Elise in the building. Oh man, thank you, thank you. Thank welcome, you for coming, Jazz. Yes, thanks for having me. Can I just get the gushing out of the way? What do you mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm gushing, man. I'm gushing over you and your song and your talent and all these things. Sorry. For you, your bus out of the gate. For yeah. you. I like use that, that for my busty youth. Use that for yes. busty youth. Yes. And then, fresh and clean, I use that for my busty youth. Oh, give thanks. We it's one of my favorite. Over it, yeah, we? but I want out overall okay. because I mean, you get the song original and she got eh. to try to fight my feet. Um, <laughs> well, I told her, no, fuck you. And um, yeah, <laughs> I ultimately played the song on the podcast because I love the song. Thank I, you. I genuinely believe it's one of the songs of the summer and one of the best songs of the year. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yes. High praise. Yeah. Very high. Give thanks. I appreciate it. I have it in my car playlist. Don't want to know that it's hard to make it in my car <laughs> playlist. I don't know that. Ooh. I don't know that. <laughs> Sure, Nara. Okay. So big up yourself, Jazz Thank you. I'm big up JLL too. JLL yeah, so you've you been, you been working with him exclusively? Not for exclusive. these two songs? Well, for these two songs, yes. But um, as an artist, not exclusively. Okay. Mm. Well, th- well, I got introduced to you to For You. And it seemed to be your first song. Like your first major push marketed song. First, first official single was For You. Yeah. So let's talk about that too. Because it's... And I guess your sound overall. Because... There's this a, a big contention of the neo reggae sound because it don't have the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the traditional sound that we're used to or like a little strumming, like a one drop, but it's, it's a hybrid of sounds with pop, it's a little bit of hip hop, a little bit of dancehall, just true, everything. True. So why, why is it like the new millennial now? reggae crop going in that way why why we're straying from what we know reggae to be i don't know i well when you say it like that it sounds so purposeful you know but it's just well for me i can talk for me it's mm. just a vibe like i say it in my songs about the vibe but really and truly that's what it is like i go into studio whatever background and roots and foundation that i have from reggae and dancehall because obviously i'm jamaican you see me so that in my spirit in my blood when I mix that Ugo me here internationally plus this and that, it just becomes that mm. when you're here. So it's not like a conscious effort, you know, but it's just what where I am right now. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So where you where you at right now is trying to experiment with new sound. And you think that you can get away with it now being a young new artist? I don't know, but I mean what me do is just try. We just put it out and to hear like you know we say it they know your playlist and Javi we say she like it, you say you like it, that means to me, okay. <laughs> can do a little thing, it'll it work. Yeah. That is what makes me realise that oh, to people this is experimentation and it it'll work. Mm-hmm. And then some will just go move off of that now. Okay. But of course you, you had some trepidation even entering into the whole artist realm and doing your thing officially as an artist. Why was that? Well, but don't like I feel like every artist experience mm. 
you know it's it's a part of the artist experience and for me me feel like me still I enter the artist realm I don't really feel like me me fully you know cuz I'm sure some people might know me but not everybody know me yet so I'm yeah. still stepping into that journey you know yeah. Because you actually started out as a dancer, and I see that in your videos, like you, you dance, mm-hmm. you have choreography. That's which one is, thing that stood out for me. In the yeah, because for really for reggae too, you know, because most yeah. videos are most reggae artists not really do dancing and choreography like that. So yeah. how you how you bringing the two worlds together? Your dancing career and your your singing is well. No one make it sound like me. Me was a big dancer, you know. Me just. <laughs> Was not a big dance. You were in the, you were in UDS. Yeah. University just, Dance Society of Sydney. I want bust my secrets there. <laughs> I read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there. It's in the sky. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we could have danced. I was not yeah, yeah, people out there were really alive big dancer mm. that was never me we could have danced we try a thing in a you know high school this great, is your great. term like try a thing yeah, yeah try no, try try true. Music. Is right this, right is this, some, is this some industry jedi mind <laughs> trick no, no, no expectation yeah make it seem effortless oh my God. Thing. No, and when it sounds no, oh, for, they make it, oh i wasn't really like, trying oh you know oops. that's every though no, for real for real <laughs> no we can dance no i'm not saying we can dance we can dance but i just don't want to Oh, God. All right, yeah. That's the <laughs> job. All right, yeah. I could, I could dance as a dancer, but yes. that was not my driving force. I was always a singer. Okay. Ask you, I want to think, greater Ma- dancing. What are you rate yourself as a dancer? No. <laughs> I haven't been in a dance studio in a while. At I'm your probably, peak, then? At my you're, peak. You're rusty, okay. Are yeah, I'm rusty right now. I'm like an eight and a half. It Miss- depends on who is the 10. Like, if Misty Here Copeland is the 10, year. if people like Kimiko Versatile and oh, okay. Tara Terrible and them people there are 10, I mean, they will power like 7. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to say, oh, I'm just going to try to think 7 seven good. Yeah, but when I go to class now, I'm going to up my 8 and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but you said that you're, 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 you come from a musical family, that like everyone yeah. and your dad is a musician. Yeah. Like, would we know him? Like, he in the band? gospel realm. Okay. He's yeah. in the gospel realm. Well, Nara would I know him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why just, would I know him? Because, I because, because you're a drummer you and you, so, you jump for the church. Just because church, we know everybody will go to every church. Me, me not know you're going to know church you jump from, bro. Who's your mom's friend? It's a bit shut up. Secrets, <laughs> them are come up. No, this be no. You don't know them. Yeah, they really follow All right, yeah. God is good, yo. God is good, right? indeed. Mm-hmm. Which church you used to go to? Mm-hmm. What kind of church? Mm-hmm. Yeah, which oh, you didn't come to church? Yeah, my no, no, I grew up in church. Oh, Every Sunday. Up can... <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know why you asked me when last I go, because no, that's no. a problem. There's no judgment here. No it's judgment. been 10 years. Yeah. Oh. No, I understand long for me. Yeah, oh. I went, I'm a Methodist by, I guess, family tradition. Oh. Methodist, Baptist, them, them something there. But, oh. And I went to a Roman Catholic prep school. So, Roman no. Catholic. No, how did you used to go? Preps, for, for high school, yeah. Okay. No, which preps did you used to go? St. Teresa. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, we were same same class. Same, that's how I know her. Oh. Same everything. Six L six G. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Was she the same disgusting person that you? Know? Wow. Javi a good girl. Me like how them a deal the way now. Javi a good 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 girl. Sure, sure. Yeah, real sure. good girl, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Say so that. Yeah, you say dad was a what was he like? Musician. So he plays. So currently, he, like, he plays for church and stuff, and he used to play for the university singers and um, national folk singers, mm-hmm. Jamaica folk singers, mm-hmm. guitar, piano, organ, that's that's his thing. Yeah. So, because when I was reading, again, in the starry interviews, I pretty much everybody was, yeah, why not? So that's unusual, though, because most family, or at least fam- family members that I know, or family that mm-hmm. I come from, is go be a professional. Of course. Lawyer, doctor, case, nurse, accountant. Say, oh, be in the church, same way. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, how encor- like, you, they were really encouraging was that something that you, you, you were surprised at, really? So, for them to... Yeah, to because coming music? from a musical family, you never think that. No, you know, because... All right. So, my father, no, he made a decision to leave the secular world of music and start a family so that's the life where him know mm-hmm. so i was surprised when i when i had that sit down and me say hey daddy at this moment you know 
I was surprised. Specifically when, reggae pop this. I never really said what, mm-hmm. but I just say I want to do music. I really, really want mm-hmm. to do music. And he knew it was off the heels of me doing this performance in front was this impromptu performance in front of the Marley's crazy story. Wow. But yeah, cri- random weird. They probably don't know who that girl is. But Which one Marley's? day Um Sidella, Ziggy, like not Ziggy, Kimani. Oh, no. Them time they skip Marley no boss yet. Nobody don't know who Skip Marley is. But it was just a random performance and they knew that Where? I did that. So what was it? Like it was Rose his Hall. birthday or something? No man. Right. Marley birthday, I mean. So my sister it was around that time, but okay. my sister in was Miss World at the time. Sanisa Mary. Mm-hmm. And she just said, Yo, just forward at this thing. I'm said, alright, put on one frock and forward. And then they were waiting on the singer to come, but the singer never reached. So everybody just sit on and watch each other. And then she was like, yo, just, just go up there, go sing something, please. Nobody don't know you're here, just do it. So I said, mm, I go to the bathroom. Try, go do it, no, for real. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I left, I went to the bathroom. I said, all right, girl. What's the worst that could happen? Mm. Nobody don't know you. You gone back at Kingston, nobody don't know you. And I went up there with my phone and some little random chronics and Bob Marley medley something a cappella sang it and then them give me one vibe like them a bus gone and a poop poop and them something there and I say why them a going so you know and that to me was just like girl what you do with your life. <laughs> No, just actually, at least come to Jesus moment. <laughs> yeah. No, for yeah. real, we come and say, not never feel so good in my soul as when wow. we just decide to just let go all of the insecurities and the inhibitions and jump on stage and sing and hope for the best. Suppose mm. I'm never getting the poop poop. Well, <laughs> I guess I'd just be in a class somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I honestly do not know because mm. I did not expect it. I was just, I was just up there. Mm. Yeah. You know, and so off of that, that's when I went to daddy and I was just like, daddy, this more I want to mm. I don't know how, I don't know who, but I this more I want to So was he, I'm encouraging and did he lead you into a direction? I said, well, go and talk to this person or talk to that person. So how you even come up to make your first single? Him just did say, all right, well, I don't even think that he knew that I was going to be serious in this way mm-hmm. about doing it probably like all right you, you music on the side because a lot of people do that them do them thing them a doctor them a lawyer indian chief whatever it Bird is indian and them, chief. <laughs> indian yeah and them do music on the side them do cabaret mm-hmm. them do them something there but i just knew that that's not what i wanted mm-hmm. to do i never want to spend my life singing other people's music wow power to all who do that mm-hmm. yeah. but it just wasn't for me so you writing for you like you wrote it and and fresh and clean yeah so you've had experience writing music as well lyrics Mm-mm. so yeah, again you just try to learn it right now i learn as my goal okay mm. like jll can't tell you mm-hmm. i'm just in the studio vibing sometimes i sing something sometimes i come with something a melody or a lyric and sometimes it's just like all right i'm gonna go try the vibe here we'll try this we could try that and we'll have a reference or sometimes we do have a reference and we'll work from scratch bringing musicians sometimes him say um, not that flip it this way try this and it's really just experimentation mm. where we're free to bring ideas to the table and vibe and i'm just learning as i go to be honest is that the same thing with your start uh, one thing that jumps out at me when yeah. i watch your music videos is your style why inspire fashion. That? yeah, yeah. fashion like, oh. style like. What's that? Well, I mean, <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> no, because me just me know said this are the same jacket I'm wearing at the video, but me never know for that on the day I record. Is it? I swear, I swear. No, yeah, I'm this we just roll out and be like, just go anywhere more on type of vibe, boy. Yeah, me like it. In a, you know, no, I like comfort. Me mm-hmm. really like for feel good, obviously, but me like for be comfortable. Mm-hmm. So. You know, some key. people wear heels and sexy things and, you know, feel mm-hmm. sexy. Me, I'm just like to be comfortable, showing a little earrings, do a little one style and so mm. mm-hmm. And the purple ear style, I go, yeah. even though I hate purple, but it I go on first. Yeah, why you hate purple? Can we yeah, talk about that? It's a, it's a high school thing. You went to KC? You I went... didn't go to KC. If I went That's to KC, why. yeah, that thing. I'm bur- burn out. Oh, I'm sorry I'll about that. Purple. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, she said she's sorry. Like, yeah, because it looked like him didn't want to go Casey. I right? wanted to know. I'm sorry. At no point did I. Even though I'm bigger brother, they go there. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. Some deep seated issues that in so, so that's your favorite color? Purple? Purple no. 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 <laughs> no. No, I don't have a favorite color, honestly. I don't. Okay. I love earth tones. I love mm. them, you know, like yellows and oranges and those stuff. Cause they complement my skin tone. So I had a purple here. It happened by accident. I was aiming for another color mm. and then it became this other color and I just said, Hey, let me try purple and then I don't know. Me just I think like your me whole life is just pretty much just you doing and, yeah. and let's try. see what happens. Yeah. I know what I was going with like, it. Like how are, like is that is that freeing for you? Is that <laughs> more metal, how, more real like do you worry? So. Are you anxious? Like is that Oh absolutely. I have anxiety right now. The whole time I was outside waiting and I was just like trembling. Yeah why well but i mean but no but even just overall career like you just you know just doing what makes you happy and you're not really sure you seem like you're not really sure what's gonna happen but you're doing it anyway no i do love what i'm doing mm -hmm. and i do wish hope and expect the best for my career mm -hmm. and i do put my all and i'm very serious about mm -hmm. it right i can't just say that after but but also i've learned because i've been a warrior and because i have i do have anxiety like whether in a DC, John can tell you I get a panic attack. First time I ever got a panic attack, like wow. <sighs> chest tight, can't breathe, and the them feeling. something that mm. never happened to me before. And so I do have that, but I just kind of try to to kind of improve how I deal with stuff. Mm -hmm. Try to say, you know what, you do your best. Whatever happen, happen. As long as you do your best, you can't do nothing else about it. Mm. Mm. So it's just something more me I try though. Hmm. Well, let's talk about it. Then you talk your homecoming, the um Howard oh, yes. homecoming. That's where you yes. were at. Like yes. you got your unfortunate, but you you killed it. I'm assuming. Yes. You, you know it was a good vibe. Yeah. It was really my first show out of Jamaica. Mm. First full band experience with a cr I don't know if, like first full band stage experience. Mm -hmm. And it was say. with Walsh Fire, right? Walsh Fire, Leela, Sev, um, Savannah. Savannah, sorry. Mm -hmm. She calls her Sev. <laughs> the audience may not know. <laughs> Savannah, Lila, Ike, mm -hmm. Walshi Fire, and and um, Apollo Tafari. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's the trio of you guys, too. And, it's, and, and I'm so happy because it feel like girl power, but it's not something that is intentional. It just feel like it's it's happening because it needs to happen with you savannah and like hey they're gonna be it's just yeah, man, like a we... good vibe yeah. of well coffee too let's mention her coffee yeah so coffee wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so is that is that something that you're excited to for as a as a young woman coming up cause... yes of course like when i stepped into music it, i can literally just step in on faith by myself mm -hmm. not knowing anybody except JLL mm -hmm. and even before I met JLL I wanted to do music so that's Jean um but like it's to me it feel like just good friendship mm -hmm. because these women are literally my friends some of them are closer with than others but um they're literally women who love what they're doing and the vibe let me tell you said the vibe is just is a good vibration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how so me and Leela became closer first mm -hmm. And then I met Sev, Savannah, and then I met Naomi. And when Diggy Protege uh, put us <laughs> all together, mm -hmm. um, we became closer because of the Rock and Groove project that we have. So that's why you'll see all four of us together, mm -hmm. like that studio in shoots and stuff. So his Rock and Groove project really put all four of us, yeah. you know, together in the same room, more in the same space. So now that you mentioned it, when is that dropping? The, 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 the project. <sighs> Okay, so the when is it, Jay? I believe it's I believe it's around November. <laughs> November three, God. November, November, 3. 3. No, November yeah. three. The black party, <laughs> yeah. dance yes, having, having, We were invited. Yes. Don't let me do PR here. Yeah. Come. Oh God. <laughs> uno, uno come in, right? Uno, uno come. Uno say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. Yeah, we have our All right. Yes. Yeah. November three. November three. November three. Where? Oh. At Itopia. Where is that? The Herb House. 10A West King's House. Oh, road. okay. It's a black party. Black like party. Nice yeah, man. Good vibes. Trust me. Vibes are keep. Dance so, are keep. I mean, so with, with you know, all you girls coming together, so that means future collaboration. Is of, it... course, of course. Of mm course. -hmm. Of course. Of course. <laughs> okay. We have something in Eric's. Hmm? We have something in Eric's. What do you mean? We have something in Eric's. Rock and Groove November 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I drop an EP, though. Fresh and clean. 
I feel yes, in time, in time, mm. in the right time, EP. Okay. Sound like you have some things like put on, right? I'm more saying, yeah, music always I work pan, you know. Me I got my half every day, every other day, music I work pan. Mm. Yeah, half of. Mm. Well, we're looking forward to it. You, you bust out of the gate. Oh gosh. Well, right, and all these things. And there's been no other time in a in a music where the, the, the female presence has been so strong to me. I oh, like wow. it. I like it. And you know, it's just so different too. Yeah. It's not the same what we used to. With I spe- and I guess because you guys doing, I wouldn't even say reggae. Just this this neo sound of music in jamaica you know so it it's nice the to new see the new genre yeah. well, we don't name it yeah name, name it, it. Yeah. so what you know what she said that too yes yeah he said she, it on our show too yeah, yeah. he's like something i hope we name me. it though and not mm. somebody over for it yeah sure. That's you, you of course feel proud to be a part of this of movie. course and i didn't even know i was a part of it mm. until it's weird because i'm in it and then hearing you say, you know, make me say, oh, wait, this actually look like a movement. When to me, I just hang out with some girl, you know, and <laughs> mm. I do music together and I chill and I vibe. Because even outside of it, we vibe and, and, and we'll have conversations, go river them something there, you know. Mm. So it's, it's I, but I guess it is that. It's a movement, it's a movement. man, it's powerful and people more and more are going to recognize it. That's okay. Awesome. Give thanks. Give thanks to you for following Jasmine. Of course. Somebody who we've admired from afar. I know I've admired from afar. I hope I don't yeah. sound like a saga. Nope. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, man. Just dig your style and, and, and your music so far. Thank you. Thank you. Where can the people follow you? On Official. Yes. On Instagram. Official Jazelise. J-A-Z-E-L-I-S-E. Twitter. Jazelise. J-A. One Z. E L I S E J A and Facebook Jazelis, YouTube, YouTube. Jazelis, everything just Jazelis everywhere. Plug Black Party again, New Wave. November 3, rock New Wave, groove. Black Party, Rock and Groove launch, man, we have a look. So, <laughs> Rock and Groove launch, November 3, Itopia, Herbos, 10A West King's House, be there, get your tickets. Big up your sister, them. Who, who did the pan read him? Naomi Cowan, Savannah, Lila Ike, Jazelis. Me eat Naomi Cowan, but yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are afraid of his. <laughs> yeah, what? Afraid, we're, we're you can cut it. this out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, cut it down. More just eat. <laughs> oh my God. Peace and love. Naomi Cowan, big up yourself. All the ladies doing them things. Big yeah. up on yourself. Well, and it's, it's nice. It's, because I'm saying the rock and groove rhythm, it's, it's, again, reggae. Let's just say for yeah. now, the reggae vibe. But it's, yeah. It's unusual, at least I'm, I, that, to me it is, where I've never heard of a regular rhythm because it's usually singles. So is yeah. this something new to that you guys trying out? No, I mean, juggle, is a juggle rhythm really, you really, know? Like, is it that Re- yeah, it? It's a juggle rhythm, but it's like, it's reggae, but Protégé and J vibe produce it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's got to have that, that Protégé vibe, that energy, which is a little outside of the... Norm. The norm, as you yeah, said, it's outside of the norm, but yeah, yeah it's a juggling four with the on it. All and female juggling, all yeah. female, you know, any girl can't juggle in a trouble. Wow, ah. <laughs> I love it. Love and Naomi, give me that one day, really? Yes, right, you know, you're not bad again. No, it can't, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it can't. Sad, big up yourself, Jazelis. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for fighting. Yeah, yeah, so come again though, because when yeah. th- there's bigger things in the future for you. Yep. So yep. once yep. your boss, please no forget us. Your boss, I boss. won't. I won't. Please. <laughs> Four crews, four stages, one winner! Red Bull Culture Clash is coming to Jamaica November 2nd at the National Arena. You're happy to be Boom, bam, bam, no Skyla Arkin, yeah. When jazz is calling, I was born and grown in a Kingston city. I said we'll pride if you are.